the flat, ayy. Bumpin' Justin Bieber, but a flavor ain't left, ayy. She know what she need, all I need, all she blessed, ayy. And welcome to another MX Bikes video. Today, guys, we have a brand new compound that's going to be releasing on the shop sometime this week, made by Trax MF. If you guys don't know who that is, he made Sure CT. They made another track as well that was fairly similar, uh, which were two free tracks, and now he's moving to the shop for this release, and it is a compound. It's going to be his first SX track that we're going to see today, and then more of a traditional motocross track. I think his past two tracks that were free were fairly simple, kind of like these 180s that kind of just winded back and forth. But uh, today we got something that's a little bit more traditional and, you know, in this really cool Brazilian environment, tropical environment. And today we're going to be ripping this track up, just talking about it, seeing what we like, what we don't like, and uh, throwing some fat whips. Trying to get around the Supercross track because, guys, SMX coming up. We got to get that practice in. And you guys got to get that practice in, too. So maybe think about picking this up when it releases. But uh, great job, Tracks MF. You're doing good, man. It's only his third track release, all right? It's very, very impressive. Let's get right into the video, boys. We are here, the Mueller's Facility MX facility of all facilities, guys. We are here, and I'm excited to rip this track up. I've already spun some laps on the motocross track before recording just to get familiar with it. And then at the end of the video, we're going to move over to the Supercross track as well because I do need some practice on that. Anyways, guys, Tracks MF is back with another release. And uh, this time on the shop, as I said in the intro, it should release this week, next few days, maybe the day you're watching this. I'm not 100% sure on the price. I would guess $1.50 to $2, but again, not 100% sure. It's kind of hard to guess prices sometimes, especially with compounds. I've seen compounds release for under $2. I've seen compounds release for $3. I've seen compounds release for $4. So you never know. I would personally put about a $1.50, $1.75 price tag on this. Maybe you could say $2. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it is very simple. And I don't think simple is bad. Um, I don't think simple is actually ever bad. It's more the quality of the simplicity. If you make something simple, you have to make sure that it has a very good quality. You can kind of get away with having some poor quality if your track is more intricate and more like, you know, highly detailed design. But this is definitely a little bit more simple, but the quality is amazing. And that's something that uh, Tracks MF so far, even with his free tracks, has done a really good job at. Just the way everything's shaped up, the ruts, the roughness, it's just a ton of fun, and the way that he designs ruts reminds me a lot of Kiwan Fuela, who has, I'm pretty sure, mentored this guy a lot. Um, they seem to be posting each other on Instagram a lot, like, you know, each other's tracks and promoting and stuff like that. So it's cool to see two trackers working together and two Brazilian guys as well, which is a, a huge minority in, in this community. I don't really know any Brazilian guys other than Kiwan and, and Tracks MF, who apparently watched my videos. He DM'd me and he was like, yo, I'm a fan. So, hey, I'm a fan of you, bro. I think it's the other way around. All right. Your tracks are absolutely amazing. So that was kind of cool. But um, seeing them work together, guys, that's that's a really big deal for this game. And the reason that I say it's a big deal is because if you look at what Stone Rider, JV, and Hell Machine have done with the outdoor tracks this year, these two guys could work together and make their own series. I think that should be what they do, if they want to do it, obviously. I mean, just my opinion, I think you guys should come together and make a Brazilian series. I know Keelan, I'm pretty sure in the past, has made a Brazilian series, and then obviously Triple Crown series last year was amazing. Dude, he, he did such a good job on that. That series did not get enough, I think, love, to be honest. Um, the, ga the game was kind of in a dead spot, though, at that, at that point in the year, October, November of last year. The game was kind of kind of struggling a little bit. Um, so I think, honestly, these two guys should team up, make a Brazilian series, make make something. I don't know. You guys make such good tracks. Um, but anyway, Tracks MF, he clearly has taken a lot of these things he's learned from Kiwan and applied it here and in his past tracks as well. But he's also kind of added his own style. And I like that. And I think as time goes on, he's going to develop more of his own style. I, you can kind of tell, I feel like he's kind of in a spot where he's doing a lot of what Keelan's telling him to do. Um, and he's trying to do some different stuff. But for the most part, it, it is fairly similar. But obviously, eventually, as he keeps going, things are going to change a little bit. And it's going to be a little bit more specific to exactly what he wants to do. And again, this is his third ever release, guys. There's not many track pairs in this game that have released something like this. Their third ever drop. Unbelievable, the quality and the flow, dude. That's one of those things, like, listen, Kiwan, great track creator. The thing is, though, is, like, I don't know if you can really teach someone flow. Like, they have to really sit down and, and learn how to make a track that flows. I don't know if that's really teachable. And clearly, he has already mastered that. And he mastered it with his first track. Sure, CT, that's on my rank server rotation. That track is so good. It's short, it's sweet, it's simple. But the way it's designed, the height map, it just works. The ruts... 
It's high speed. It's got great scrub jumps. So I think you should lean into the high speed stuff. That's something Kiwin's done. And I think Tracks MF should do that a little bit more. This isn't super high speed. It is more technical, which I'm not mad at because I like technical tracks. But I really think the way that they do their height maps in Leveler, pretty sure is what they use, um, definitely caters to more high speed stuff. But that's just my opinion. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's see if we can run a burner, boys. We just ran a, a 135.8. Not a terrible time. But I'm going to now see if I can beat that time on the Suzuki. Maybe we can run a sub 130. I'm not exactly sure what a good lap is. So I want to put one down right now and then attempt to beat it. That's what I've been doing. All the new tracks that I get on now. I do like a base lap that's like pretty fast. And then I just try to beat that lap with an absolute burner for my standards. I'm not a hot lapper by any means. Um, if you guys didn't know, I qualified 33rd at Bud's Creek. They only take the top 35. So I almost didn't qualify for the Bud's Creek race. And then I got 7th overall. So, like, it doesn't... Yeah, it, hot lap speed don't really matter at the end of the day. It's more about the consistency and the speed that you have when you're consistent. Not right now, though. It's all about hot lap right now. So we're going to see what lap we can run. And see if we can one up that afterwards. Not a super long lap time, a little 130 for a motocross track. It's pretty average, I'd say, in this game. Not too bad. Yeah, definitely more of a technical track. Not something that I think Tracks MF has really done too much with this track. This tracks have been fairly high speed, both of them. This is more of like a traditional motocross track and not something that's just kind of winding 180s. Um, which is what we saw with his first two releases, which wasn't bad, by the way. Like, he did a great job on both those tracks, but it just was very simple in style. So clearly, he's stepping out a little bit, and he's doing stuff that's more like engrossing environment, and it looks really, really good, and I love it. We just ran a 134.8, so now I'm going to run a lap right here and see if we can beat that. A little low 134, or even somewhere in the 33s, maybe a 32. Would be nice. 32 would be very nice if I could do it. We're going to have to go pretty fast because that lap was pretty damn good. I did make a couple mistakes, and I did make a mental map of where those mistakes were, where I lost some time. So we're going to see if I can learn from it and apply that to this lap. That was one of the spots there. I didn't have a very good apex for that rut, but we did it better this time. Scrub this harder. Check up here. Okay, this lap's amazing right now. I'm gonna go inside here. No, outside might be quicker. I like the exit's so good though in that rut that it doesn't really matter. Use our brakes. Double into the inside. Just use roll speed. Gotta scrub this hard. Oh, damn. There's a kink in that jump face, man. I never went to that side before, so I was trying to... If it was the low, low launch angle, but it was indeed not. It was the opposite. Still a fast time, though. We're absolutely barking the raceway right now. I feel like the way that he makes tracks is like my style of riding. At least this one particularly. I don't know about the other ones because they're pretty fast, but... We're not going to break the time. Damn. I think I'm washed, boys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
boy supercross time this is his first ever supercross track and mx bike so i'm very excited to kind of feel out the scaling just kind of see how it rides and, and see if it is more beginner friendly or not the whoops obviously tell me instantly it's definitely a bit more beginner friendly so we're gonna map up the rhythm sections real quick i'm gonna get them into my brain into my into my big mind my big brain that i have it's not actually that big and hopefully we can remember it for the rest of these laps because I am going to try to run some burners. Currently, I'm riding decent here in third person. I just want to do the first lap in third person because I don't know why not. I am trying to get better at third person because I would like to eventually do a pro race in third person because I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny. Maybe it would be quite uh, traumatizing though. I'm not 100% sure, but I do think I can actually race supercross in third person. Motocross is different because you got a lot more front end trouble. Supercross, I feel like I can get away with in third person. Who knows, though? We'll see. Um, now I'm going to try to see if I can run some burners here, see if we can map these lines out a little bit more, try to hit some big lines. But so far, it definitely feels like more of a beginner-style track. The, the jumps aren't super hard to hit. But as far as the scaling goes, like it feels pretty good, to be honest. And this will be kind of his template for the future. He's going to be able to edit it, see if he likes it or not. But, um... Man, this guy, let me tell you, man, he's got a he's got a big future in track building, I think, in this game. Seriously, like, he's got a lot of talent, and if he's truly passionate about it, I think he's going to do a really good job going forward, and I think this is a great start. This is a great uh, for a supercross track and sort of a more traditional motocross track. I'm trying to get the scaling down in my brain. Definitely a bit smaller than aerial, I'd say, for sure. That landing is, I think, a little bit too steep there on the finish line. Whoops are small. I'm not a huge fan of that personally. I know there's some people that don't really care about having whoops that are hard. They just kind of want to skim through them. So I understand if you're that person, you're going to absolutely love that. I like when whoops are hard, though. So that's just my opinion. But most whoops in this game, even the ones that are big, are pretty damn easy. So I really never get what I want. But triple in, triple here, single out. I'm guessing you can quad into that section. Definitely could triple into this. I don't know if it's really necessary, though. And this is a triple, triple, double. I'm not sure you could stretch any of those lines. Definitely can't stretch that, because he is putting, like, a bigger transition into the parts where he wants you to land, which makes sense for the track, but sometimes it does take out some, some bigger lines. But it definitely makes it better for beginners, so they can kind of consistently just hit that same uh, line that the track's wanting you to hit. But if you want to hit some quad ends, it kind of, it takes away from you when there's like a wider transition, or a longer transition, I should say. That quad end's definitely doable. Hit that next lap. And then this is just a super cross triple, right? Yeah, super cross triple. These singles are pretty small. I don't know if you can quad into there. I mean, the thing is like the berm is not super tall. Not, I don't even think it's like this one, but even that one, you don't have a ton of time to get a ton of speed, so I don't really know if there's any really big lines on here. You could probably quad into that, but this, the transition is super skinny there, so I don't know if you'd be able to get the, the triple out anyway. I have a lot of questions right now, but this is one of the reasons I do like when I get on a new Supercross track, is trying to answer those questions and figure out exactly which lines are faster, which lines are doable, what can you do consistently. And sometimes, like, first few laps, you'll, like, eye up a quad in and it looks impossible, and then a couple laps later, you're just, you just hit it randomly, and you're like, what the hell? That happens to me a lot in Supercross. I definitely undermine myself a little bit. So we got that quad there. We're gonna try the quad in on this next one, 80, even though I don't think it's possible, but... I could prove myself wrong. I have in the past. And look what I do. <laughs> right when you think something's impossible, it's not actually impossible. And I am just dumb. Now we gotta hit this quad in, which I said was impossible too. It looks like, oh, you'd have to go quad quad. Definitely couldn't do that. It'd have to be like a quad triple single. But we need to try it. We need to be experimental. I do love that quad though that we that we just hit. That was so sick, bro. We literally greased it too. Like it was perfect speed. It's that perfect, like, wide open second gear speed on the 450. Here, this quad, let's go, double. Apex, this wide turn, scrub the triple. Cautious here, stay high, and then cut down and just flick. You gotta flick the front end, get that, 
Suspension rebound. Then you can triple in there. Nah, I don't think the quad's possible. You could maybe cut down, but the way he designed that corner into that first single, it seems to be elevated on the right side. So if you're trying to take a wide angle to get speed, you can't really do it because you're not having a ton of jump face to work with. All right, we're gonna try to hit every single big line here. Okay, last lap, we're literally just gonna try to see what's possible. And we're gonna send it into every single rhythm section and hopefully we can just land everything. This is like the best lap of Supercross I've ever done in my life. Before we do that though, I have to say tracks MF, you did a great job on both of these. And for this being your third ever creation, it's very impressive. And I've, you know, in my time reviewing tracks, never seen many guys on their third ever attempt at building something, especially a facility do something like this so it's, it's really good quality it's a step in the right direction for you and just keep on chugging brother on every line so far do we try the quad in you have to try it right we're not gonna get it can we get this triple though we're going to can i get this quad in though this berm looks like it's asking for it oh yeah no that's not i don't think it's a it's impossible i, I just don't think i don't think you should do it um, but that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's about that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.